Economic Dispatch Solved Problem 2. In the exam point of view, this problem is very important. So the fuel input per hour of plant 1 and plant 2 are given as C1 equal to 0.2 PG1 square plus 40 PG1 plus 120 rupees per hour. C2 is 0.25 PG2 square plus 30 PG2 plus 150 rupees per hour. Determine the economic operating schedule and the corresponding cost of generation if the maximum and minimum loading on each unit is 100 megawatt and 25 megawatt. Assume the transmission losses are ignored and the total demand is 180 megawatt. Also, determine the saving obtained if the load is equally shared by both the units. So, here there are two units, so n equal to 2, and the demand is 180 megawatt, and the limits for both the units are 25 to 100 megawatt. Step 1 find lambda. Using this formula, we can find lambda. Substituting n is equal to 2, the formula is expanded like this Pd plus B1 by 2A1 plus B2 by 2A2 divided by 1 by 2A1 plus 1 by 2A2. So, in this cost function, the coefficient of Pg1 square is A1. Coefficient of Pg1 is B1. Similarly, for the second unit, substituting that value, the demand is 180 and B1 is 40 divided by 2 into A1 is 0.2 and B2 is 30 divided by 2 into A2 is 0.25. Similarly, in the denominator, we can substitute A1 and A2. We will be getting lambda equal to 75.556. Now, second step, find the generation PGI using the formula lambda minus bi by 2ai. So, for the first unit i equal to 1. So, pg1 is equal to lambda minus b1 by 2a1. So, from the cost function we can substitute a1 and b1 and lambda from the first step we can substitute 75.556 minus 40 divided by 2 into 0.2. So, that gives you 88.889 megawatt. Similarly, for the second unit substituting the values of b2, a2 and lambda will be getting 91.112 megawatt. Adding this to generation will be getting 180 megawatt. Now, step 3, check the PGI limits. So, the limits are given from 25 to 100. So, PG1 lies within the limit and PG2 also lies within the limit. So, the economic operating schedule will be PG1 is equal to 88.889 megawatt and PG2 equal to 91.112 megawatt. And now in this problem, they asked to determine the saving obtained if the load is equally shared by both the units. So, in the previous step, we obtained the economic operating schedule that is PG1 equal to 88.889 megawatt and 91.112 megawatt. So, for this, you will be getting some cost of generation. But if the load is equally shared, that means 180 is equally shared, 90 megawatt and 90 megawatt. So, if the load is equally shared, what is the cost of generation and for economic operating schedule what, what is the cost of generation and the saving obtained for this economic operating schedule can be determined. For that first fuel cost of unit 1, so C1 is equal to 0 0.2 PG1 square and 40 PG1 plus 120. So, if you substitute the value of PG1, you will be getting rupees 5255.810. Similarly, for fuel cost of unit 2, C2 is equal to rupees 4958.709. So, this is the cost of each unit. So, adding you will be getting the total cost that will be 10,214.519 rupees per hour. Take this as first equation. If the loads are equally shared by both the units, that means PG1 is equal to 90 megawatt, PG2 is equal to 90 megawatt, that is 180 megawatt is shared equally by both the units. In such case, the fuel cost for unit 1 is 5340 and the fuel cost of unit 2 is rupees 4875. So, if you add this 2, you will be getting the total cost of 10,215 rupees per hour. Take this as second equation. So, comparing these two equations, equation 1 and 2, the savings will be 10,215 minus 10,214.519. So, that will be equal to 0 0.481 rupees per hour. So, approximate it to 0.5 rupees per hour. So, the saving obtained will be equal to 0.5 rupees per hour. So, this is how we need to solve this problem.